Hey guys, it's Andrew Esquivel here, and I'm making this video as a second part addition to the video that I made explaining how to use a laptop hard drive in an Xbox 360 Slim. Now, there's a lot of common questions that I get, and I'm finally going to address those questions. So, number one question I get, where is the hgdss.bin file? It is in the description. It has always been in the description, and it always will be in the description. I know at one point the link that I made became dead because the, uh, the website that hosted the links to get the bin files uh, changed servers, but the, I found new links and they're there for you, but anyone could have found it by doing just a simple quick Google search. Now, the bin files come in three flavors, a 120 gigabyte bin file, a 250 and I believe a 320 as well and which brings me to my next question is can I use a one terabyte hard drive I've seen people do it on YouTube I don't know how they do it they would need some sort of bin file to alter their hard drive to be able to use that and the hard drive itself would also have to be of that size uh, as far as I know, the only readily available bin files for this particular process are in the sizes that I described. Now, if you've got a hard drive that's in between those sizes, let's say you got somewhere in between a 120 and a 250. Well, let's say for just the sake of argument, you've got a 200. You would have to go with the one smaller than your drive. You cannot use a bin file that is bigger than your drive because then it's saying there's more room there than there really is. Although some people may have found a work around that, I'm not quite sure. Um, another common question that I get is, uh, what type of hard drive do I need? Well, I've already answered this in the first minute of the video that I made. And the short answer is you need a Western Digital Scorpio hard drive. See, people ask me, well, do I need a Scorpio Blue, a Scorpio Black? Will this particular model number work? I'm not going to look up the model number for you. Just know that if it's a Western Digital Scorpio, it should be fine with blue or black. It should work. All right, next question. Uh, they get an error that says no ATA device is present or something along those lines. Now, this is not an issue with HDD Hacker. It is an issue with your computer. 99% of the time when you get this error, it is your chipset being incompatible with the software, meaning use a different computer. If you get the error again, use once again a different computer. It does not have to be a laptop. It can, in fact, be a desktop. Whichever suits you better, whether you like using a laptop to do this or a desktop, it should be fine as long as you find some sort of computer that is compatible with their chipset and the software because let's remember we're using Microsoft DOS this is an operating system that's like 20 years old so things are bound to be incompatible alright next question one dot bin is not present this is a common mistake that people make and I apologize for not making this clear in the original video. When I say 1.bin, I'm meaning download the hgdss.bin file. Okay? Take that file while you're still on Windows XP, Vista 7, whatever, whatever you're using. Rename the file to the number 1, just number 1. Don't add .bin to it because it's already a .bin file. When I say .bin, I'm talking about the file extension. The file extension is the thing that allows the computer to know, you know, what type of file is it, what can I, what programs can I associate with this file. Just like an MP3 file is your music files. If you have a, a, a song, it's going to be, you know, song, not song.mp3. Most of the time, it's just going to be the name of the song. The the file extension is hidden. So once again, when I say one dot bin I'm really meaning the file is named one and the reason I even say dot bin is because in Microsoft DOS you have to type the file extensions 
for it. It does not read the file extensions automatically. So, assuming you named the file in the regular Windows 7 XP Vista just the number 1, when you type it in and translate it to what the Microsoft DOS can read, it's now going to be 1.bin. And what also a thing to note is in Microsoft DOS, the file extension bin has to be in all capitals. Otherwise, it doesn't recognize it as a bin file. And that's what HDD Hacker is looking for. So, that answers that question. Uh, another question. Nothing happens when I type in HDD Hacker. Once again, that's an issue with your computer. Switch to a different computer until you find one that works. Answer that question. Next question. Will I get banned for doing this from Xbox Live? I answered that question in the original video as well, but I'll answer it again. No, you should not get banned for doing this. The only way you're going to get banned is if you start making lag switches, modify the HD DVD or Blu-ray uh, uh, Blu disc reader, because if you do that, then you know you can make or you can read cracked games for your Xbox, which is illegal. They don't want that. Uh, it shouldn't affect anything about your gameplay. All it should do is give you more internal storage on your Xbox. And as far as I know, Xbox don't care that you do this. Uh, another big question that I get is, at the end of the video when I talk about inputting a serial number to format the hard drive when it's in your Xbox, people ask me, what serial are you talking about? I am, in fact, talking about the serial number of your Xbox, not the hard drive. You're looking at the serial number on the back of your Xbox, or the serial number that's actually locatable through the menus of your Xbox. You can find it in the menu of your Xbox. So, that's the serial number I'm talking about, then. Serial number of your Xbox. So, there's the information. Those are a few of the very common questions I get. And quite simply put, those are the answers to those questions. Now, uh, if you actually watch the entire video, you're pretty well off. Normally people don't have questions. But if you're the kind of person who comes to the video and you don't watch it all, or you don't pay attention, or you just have bad luck because your computer is not compatible, well, Here's looking towards you. So, as always, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it informative, and thanks for watching.